Fishing and filmmaking are pretty similar in that they are both a hurry up and wait game. Get all your gear in place, ready and waiting for the action to begin. What we've been waiting all day for right here. Let's see if it actually pans out how it's supposed to. It's Friday, July 29th, approximately 9.20 p.m., magic hour, and any minute the reels should be screaming with King Salmon. Jen, oh. Jen. Mm -hmm. All you. All you. Do you Jen. But I'm getting ahead of myself. It's king salmon season on Lake Michigan, and where do you go to fish for kings in the UP? Fairport. Never heard of it? I'm not surprised. This postage stamp of a harbor town is located at the end of the road in the Garden Peninsula. Just a couple dozen houses, zero stores, a fishery building, and a few docks. Locals rent out their yards for 10 bucks a night to camp during salmon season, and 10 bucks to launch your boat. The daily population quadruples this time of year here. Today is a bit quiet, but two weeks earlier, I saw over 100 trucks with boats piled onto this spot. I'm headed out onto the lake with John Ron of Uper Outdoors. You might have heard of him. He's been on the show a handful of times ice fishing and bear hunting. This is the first time I've been on the open water with him. John got his captain's license last year, and this is his first year guiding full-time. And if you are one of the 34,000 people who follow John on Facebook, you know he can catch fish. John has four clients on the boat today who thankfully let me on board to film. Ever since I saw those hundred boats head out to salmon fish earlier in July, I've wanted to get out here to see what it was all about. Well, these big salmon will just rip the board back. Like They'll just, they they'll just take it back. So, yeah. Those 20 pound salmon, sometimes they'll like sink the board, like really? it'll, it'll just, just, oh yeah. The most popular time for anglers to fish for the kings of the lake is during the annual salmon run, which typically starts in July on the northern portion of Lake Michigan and lasts only a few short weeks. This year it started the second weekend of July. Right now, Chinook salmon are plentiful, aggressive, and large in size as they stage in the warmer waters to feed. It's like there's this plankton, I guess, in the water, so and the alewives feed on the plankton, and then the salmon feed on the alewives, so the plankton comes up, and then the alewives come up, and then the salmon comes up. And then they're all feeding in weeks. This bite will only last a few weeks, and then all these salmon will push up towards the river mouse, at least all the adults, and they go in there and spawn in like August and early September. So October, yeah, you come out here and maybe catch some like cohos or littler kings, yeah. but all the big adults will be in the river spawning and then so they, di they die in the river, done, so yep. yeah. So they're just in here staging right now. Yep, they're just filling their face, yep. like eating as much as possible because gotcha. they know they're gonna die cool. in a few, in the next month. And yep. gotcha. so it's just like uh, deer, like you know how they pig out in October? Mm -hmm. Just yep. try and get as much get fat reserves as possible. That's what these salmon are doing. Really? Yep. They're just eating as many of these alewives as they can. Salmon will never live after five years old, or technically they're not supposed to live after right. five years old. I'm sure there's like an exception yeah, to like sure. a small percentage, but steelhead, browns, lake trout, they'll all spawn they and not die, but king salmon die. Oh. It'd be um, awesome if they didn't. Right. Yeah. Oh God. Because then you'd probably be catching like 50, 60 pound <laughs> fish. To better our odds of catching a pile of kings, John threw a lot of lures out there at various depths on six planer boards, two dipsies, and two downriggers. We're trolling, looking for schools of alewives, find those, and that's where the salmon are. We're only getting like one bite per hour from now until eight o'clock, right. nine o'clock. So, and then from like nine to 10.30, it's just like game on. Three at a time, hopefully. That's all it took. Walk away from that camera. <laughs> nope, good job. This little guy will take him. <laughs> <laughs> 
big boy. Big boy. All right, who wants this one? Loosen it up. When he's not fighting, you want to bring him to the boat. You know what I mean? Have you did much salmon fishing or just a couple times? Okay. Yep. So you can tell when he starts jerking. I just, I, what I do is I start holding out like this. Okay. And when you're, when you're not reeling, I keep my thumb right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like let the rod go down, or pull, pump up, and then reel down. Pump up. There you go. Pump. Sometimes you got to tighten the drag up to pump up. Okay. These are big fish, so they're not just gonna come to the bowl. You gotta you gotta get them here. Well we didn't get stuck. <laughs> yeah, see now he's fighting more like a 20 pounder does. It seemed like he was coming to the bowl pretty easy there for a while. What I do is reel down, yep. like reel down, and then and then pump up. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll even keep my thumb on here. I'll just, I'll just pull up real slow, and then reel down. You know what I mean? Re drop your rod down, reel down, and then pull up real slow, and then reel down. You got this feet out of the water. So don't want that to go back in the water. That's a big one. That's 25. Pull, 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 pull. Yeah, hey. Hey. Nice! Hey. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was awesome. That was the arms feel. This was the most awesome. Get out, man. That was awesome. Still an hour before prime time. <laughs> yep. You got fish we ain't even caught yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's one nice thing about catching them early like this, like we're guaranteed a few more. I shouldn't say that, but. <laughs> We had been on the boat for nearly four hours when that first fish finally hit, and then it was on. But before that, we were nearly lulled to sleep by the gentle waves and the hum of the trolling motor. Say 10.30 to 11.30 is when you get a lot more smaller ones. Really? They just, for some reason, they come up later than yeah. the bigger ones do. Yeah. A lot of these, like 20 pounders. Is there a time you gotta be off the water? You fish all night? You fish all night. Do? Tonight would be a good night to fish all night. Let's do it. <laughs> John compares it to bear hunting. You sit and wait with bated breath, staring at the same spot for hours until magic hour. That short window where it's either going to happen or it's not. <laughs> this is a little king.
had to get that board on the foot. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need five fish for an episode, though, so get him in here. <laughs> All we I need make. ten fish for an episode. I lie. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a twenty pounder. <laughs> in the border. Back up to the field. Take yours over there and start reeling. That's a 300 copper, you got a long way. Alright, start reeling. An episode. Doubled up. Back by the windshield, right in between them two trees. It's you and him now. Let the best man win. <laughs> Go ahead, Adam. Do it. <laughs> Loosen up the drag a little bit. Alright. Come right over here. Just try and keep your eyes far away from him as you can. Is he tiring you out? Yeah. <laughs> See how that hook came right off in the net? That's why you don't ever want to give him any wow. slack. Because as soon as they gave him slack, it came right off. There's fish. False alarm, that was our last fish. We didn't end up fishing all night. John's clients were satisfied with the evening's catch, so we headed to shore where John cleaned those salmon inside the Fairport fishery. I'd say for my first real king salmon fishing trip on Lake Michigan, it was a pretty exciting one. In case you wanted to see what the alewives that these salmon eat look like, here you go.